ladies and gentlemen, sensational slim people, it's time for five at five. Here's the star of the show, the slimmest of all men, Slim Man. Show. I am your host, Slim Man, Slim Man, a Cotty, Slim Papa Showstopper, coming to you from Slim Shady Trailer Park right here in beautiful Palm Springs, California. Yay, hello there, Slim people. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in to this show. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, 
I went out for a drink. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but there's a bar right across the street from Slim Shady Cherubic Park. It's called Dick's Halfway Inn. And I walked in. I sat down. And I had a drink. Bartender walks over to me. He said, hey, Slim, what's up with the crutches? What happened? And I said, well, uh, I, I went to the bank and I asked them to check my balance. So, well, they pushed me over and I fell and I, I broke my leg. I asked them to check my balance. And so they pushed me over. You like to. You like to joke. Finally. Yeah, I liked it. I, I, well, I guess you're ready for another one, huh? How about one more joke? What do you say, Slim people? One more? Huh? No! <laughs> the Slim people have spoken. Yes, they have. All right, uh, let's get into the music of the five to five. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're going to start off the show with the very first song from the very first Slim Man CD. Very first Slim Man CD, End of the Rainbow, released back in 1492. And uh, the very first song is a song called Let's Start All Over. The reason why I started the CD off with that song, because it was my favorite. And I thought it was going to be the one that was going to be the big hit. But it wasn't. Uh, Faith in Us was, but I still love this song. And I also thought it was kind of, a, I don't know, ironic to start off your first album with your first song with a song that says, let's start all over. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, this is the song, a very first song from the very first CD, a song called Let's Start All Over. It features David Rand on the saxophone and uh, Rico Rick on the piano. And it goes like this.
Let's not all over again. Okay, what do you say? We do a song, a song called Blue Moon. Now, a great story behind this song. Blue Moon was written in 1934, early 1930s. Uh, Richard Rogers, Lorenz Hart, they used to write uh, songs for musicals. They wrote a lot of musicals. And uh, this is one of the songs. It was in one of their musicals. called. Uh, the song's called Blue Moon. Well, it never really did that much. However, in 1961, what's that, 25, 26 years later, uh, a band called the Marcells, a doo-wop group, did a version of Blue Moon completely different than the original. They did a doo-wop. bum dum bum dum bum 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 Blue Moon. Remember that? Anyway, what the number was, a big, huge hit. A couple years later, Nelson Riddle did a great arrangement for Frank Sinatra. And this is what we're going to hear right now. say we're gonna do a song called beginning uh this is the very first uh song off of the jazzified cd there's also a great uh, version uh on uh on the uh bellamia cd but uh the beginning is a song that i wrote after four close friends got married in the same year and i thought wow so wonderful these fresh beginnings a new start four of my really good friends getting married and uh that was the inspiration for this song. So 
song from Cindy Walker. Cindy Walker is a really, really good country songwriter. Uh, this is a song called You Don't Know Me. Uh, my mom gave me an album of Willie Nelson singing the songs of Cindy Walker. This song was on there, You Don't Know Me. And uh, I just remember sitting in the kitchen and listening to this with my mom over and over and over again. Love this song. Uh, really great songwriter. You ought to look up her story, Cindy Walker. Anyway, uh, Here's a song called You Don't Know Me, or Ray Charles did a version. A whole bunch of people did versions of this song. I'm going to do my version right now. You get your hand on me, I let me sing alone. And I can hardly speak, my heart is beating so.
go by It says that you might have loved me too You give your hand to me And then you say goodbye I watch you walk away Beside the lucky line You're the one to tell Well, we don't know you. You'll never know the one who loves us so. song always gets me. Yeah, it does. All right, how about a Slim Man song? Can you stand it, Slim people? This is a song I wrote with Mark Antoine. We were doing an album over there in Madrid a couple of years ago. And I usually don't write songs to people, but Mark said, you know, why don't we do something together? So we came up with this song, a song called One by One. Uh, Mark and I worked on the music. I wrote the lyrics. And Mark's wife, Rebecca, actually sings backup on this song, One by One. What? So here it is, feature Mark on guitar, Rebecca on vocals, and a guy named Slurman.
Yeah, one by one. All right, uh, that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. Got time for one more song. This is the song called Where or When. This is a, another song that was written by uh, Richard Rogers and Lorenz Hart, uh, Where or When. And uh, before we launch into this, i got to remind you about the website, slimman.com. we got all kinds of concerts coming up. The Laguna Beach Show, uh, July and August. Those tickets are finally on sale. Go to the website, check it out. Uh, we got July July 16th and August 8th. We've got every uh, Tuesday night at Vicky's. I'm still playing there. Even with a broken leg. Band sounded great last night. We're going to continue. I think we've got six more weeks there. Got the new cookbook up on the website. Got to check that out. Uh, also got all kinds of merch, t-shirts, hats, CDs. We've got all the good stuff. Slimman.com. Everything you need to know. So here's a song called Where or When. Uh, this is a... Uh, a great arrangement by Quincy Jones, who did the arrangement for this one. Uh, Frank Sinatra did not use uh, uh, Nelson Riddle on this. This is from the Live at the Sands Hotel. Uh, great arrangement by Quincy with the Count Basie Orchestra. And it's a song called Where or When. And it goes like this. <laughs> Springs. Exactly. 